Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we are going to be creating a custom header with a countdown timer to add to a product page. And we are going to be using Neve's custom layouts as well as order blocks. So be sure to install and activate the order plugin. I will leave a link in the description. So let's begin. From your dashboard, go to appearance and click on custom layouts. Now you can go ahead and click on the add new button. All right, now let's add a title. Let's call this shop countdown. The next step is to add a new block. So let's click on this plus icon and we need to add a section block and you may need to search for it. Now let's move to the left and click on skip. Okay, now we have a one column section that we can add a new block to. So we are gonna go ahead and add a countdown block. So let's click on this one. Okay, so now that we have our countdown block, we need a heading block. So we are gonna click on this plus icon and simply click on heading. Let's click on this icon to center align our heading. And now we can change this from H2 to H3. Now let's go ahead and view our blocks as a list. And we have the heading outside of the section, so we are gonna expand it. Let's expand the column as well and drag the heading above the countdown block. So the heading needs to be inside of the section. Now let's add our text. Let's say something like enjoy free shipping on all items. Yeah, so we have enjoy free shipping on all items. Okay, so now that we have our heading text, we can go ahead and customize it. So let's move over to the right hand side under block settings. Let's skip all the other settings for now and go straight to typography. So we are going to click on these three dots and click on letter spacing. Let's change the letter spacing value to about two pixels. Okay, I think that looks good. And we are going to change the appearance to extra light. We can also change the letter case to all caps. And now we need to change our font size. So click on this icon and let's make our font size 16 pixels. So I think that looks good. So now we can go ahead and customize our text colors. So under color, let's select the text option and let's select this color, which is one of our theme colors. And this is good so far. Now let's click on the countdown block to customize its settings. Now over on the right hand side, we are going to go ahead and click on this button to select a date. Let's select the 15th of June. And you can also specify a time if you need to. And now we can see that our countdown is running and we can move over to the right hand side to customize its settings. For example, you can choose to display or hide days, hours, minutes, seconds, or separator. Let's configure our box spacing settings. You can adjust it using this slider, but I'm gonna type in a value of about eight. Next, we can configure the box height. I think I'm gonna use a value of about 80. Okay, and we can make the box with 80 as well. So that looks good. I'm not gonna adjust the border width. Let's also skip this one and let's move down to label font size. So let's make this value about 12. We can use this slider or we can simply type in the value again. And oops, let's remove these two last characters. So now it's back at 12. You can also adjust the border radius of the boxes if you need to round the corners, but I will keep this as zero. Let's keep the corners nice and sharp. And I think we are done with this part of the settings. I think this countdown timer looks good in terms of its layout. So now we can go ahead and click on section on the left and let's move over to the right hand side and just ensure that you are in the layout tab. Let's go ahead and click on spacing and add a hundred pixels of padding. Press enter. And now we have some inner spacing in our section. So now we are going to click on the style tab at the top. And let's go to background type to select an image background. And we are going to select an image from our media library. Now we just need to select an image. Let's scroll down to select this one with the books. Click on select in the bottom right hand corner. And we now have a background for our section. Let's add a background overlay. Let's scroll down until we find the background overlay tab. It's right here. So let's go down to background color. And we now have the option to choose one of our theme colors. So I'm going to select this dark blue color. Now let's scroll down just a bit to adjust the overlay opacity. So we're making this just a bit darker. I think it should look good at 80. So we are going to leave this at 80. You can also play around with CSS filters if you need to as well. We can ignore all of the other settings for now. Since we are done with the section customization, we can go ahead and click on the countdown timer. Let's access its settings on the right hand side. Let's go to the color settings. Let's skip the background setting and move to label. And let's choose the first color, which is the same as the heading. Let's change the value color. This is basically the number. Let's make it white. And we can make the border the same color as the label. 
and I think that looks good. So we are done customizing the color settings. If you need to, you can customize your countdown timer further. For example, you can add some custom CSS by accessing this tab. So feel free to go through all of the other settings to customize your countdown timer according to your specific needs. So I'm not going to add any visibility conditions, but I will go down to animations and under loading animations, I'm going to add a bouncing in animation. Okay, so now our countdown timer bounces in when it loads. So I think we are done customizing our countdown timer. So let's go back and preview this. Let's go ahead and click on the preview button at the top of the page. Let's preview in a new tab. So here is our countdown timer with the bounce in animation. So we can now apply this layout to our product page. Now let's go back to the editor. Let's close this tab first. And you may be tempted to go ahead and publish this layout, but we would first need to configure the custom layout settings. So let's close this and scroll down. Under custom layout settings, go to layout and select hooks from this drop down menu. Now we need to select a hook. So let's access this drop down menu and let's find the after header hook. Let's leave the priority as 10 and we can enable the expiration date option. I'm going to set the date to the 15th, just like we did with the countdown timer. And you can also select a specific time, but let's just leave this as 11 PM. Now we can configure the conditional logic. So let's go ahead and access the select menu and let's scroll down. Let's scroll all the way down to find archive type. So when the archive type is equal to products, then this custom layout will be shown after the header. Now we can go ahead and click on publish twice to test out this custom layout. And now you can go ahead and visit your site. So here's my site and I'm going to click on shop to access the product archive. And here's our header with the countdown timer. All right. So I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.